Now on to our next speaker. Christian Lang is another first-year member of DU. He joined the Christopher Newport chapter this past year and is getting ready to start his junior year as a criminology major. Christian is the alumni relations chairman for the chapter, and he also helps out with loss prevention and brotherhood in the chapter. He's also our, one of our recent dual participants from this summer. Christian said he wrote this speech because I didn't have a brother or a group of brothers who were there to make sure I was doing okay. And I want a chance to show how much my DU brotherhood, brothers have changed my life for the better. Please join me in welcoming Christian Lang, Christian Lang, Christopher Newport 2021, and his Ignite family until the end. Hello, my name is Christian Lang, and I'm part of the Christopher Newport chapter in Newport News, Virginia. So first, I want to take the time to thank Noah for allowing me the chance to be up here to talk about something very special to my heart, and that's specifically family. But more specifically, I want to talk about recruiting your family, recruiting your future brothers. So my goal today is to hopefully inspire someone in this room to go out and make a change, and just like my chapter, change my life for the better when I was recruited. So first, I want to break down what is family. We all had family growing up. They picked us up when we got hurt. We, they hugged us when we were crying, and they were there to always support us in everything that we did. But well, they're there until we go to college, and we go on our own. And I have to admit, I was very nervous going to college by myself. I know I wasn't the only one in here. You guys probably were too. So realizing that I had to go alone, I didn't realize what, was, what to expect and what was going to happen. So I, I embraced it. I embraced going to college alone, but I still didn't have anyone to lean on in case I messed up or anything. So when I got to college for the first time, I realized that pressures come for all freshmen. Mental pressures, emotional pressure, and emotional pressure where we need someone to lean on. And as our job as a fraternity is to be that new outlet, to be that new family for them to lean on. And that we realize that when we recruit our new members and we treat them as family, they realize that being a part of DU is being a part of a family, and this family is forever. So, I want to backtrack for a second and talk about my freshman year. I went along with the spring rush process, just like all freshmen did, and I was under the impression, I was, yep, yeah, I'm good. I'm going to go through the rush process and be fine. But due to some personal reasons, I just couldn't go, go along with the rush process. And my first thought was, my chapter wasn't wanting to, didn't want to talk to me again. They're just going to wait till fall to talk to me for the next rush. But thankfully, I was very wrong. So skip ahead a few months to June 9th uh, that same year, which was my birthday. I had just started a new job at Kingsmill Golf Course in Williamsburg, which uh, it was a, it's a very nice golf course. They have LPGA tournaments there, but I joined the landscaping crew. And so I had to report in at 3 a.m. on my birthday, and I, you can probably guess I was not very happy to do that. So I go into shift as usual, uh, mow the greens, cut the cart path. Um, everything's going fine until lunchtime hits. And I get a text from one of our current alumni now, Jerry Dingus Jr. We call him Noodle because he's around 6'7", 150, pretty lanky guy, but I love him to death with all my heart. So he texts me and says, hey, it's your birthday today, right? I'm in Newport News and would love to celebrate with you. Just let me know if you're in the area. So I said, sure, I'd love to hang out. So after, after work, I go straight to his house and he takes me to Mellow Mushroom. And Boy, was I in for a surprise. As soon as I made it into Mellow Mushroom, I saw a cluster of all my bro brothers from my chapter uh, waiting to surprise me and to think. I wasn't even a brother yet, and they celebrated my birthday. As you, oh, yeah, as you can see there, we have a bunch of our alumni, uh, alumni currently there, one of our sweethearts, and that was the picture he took. As, it's my favorite memory, my best birthday. The, what they don't know is that night after I left, I was in tears, in, like uh, so happy. It just, it just came out. It was one of my, it's one of my favorite memories so far. And so they didn't stop there. That's the thing. Throughout the summer, we went on hikes, they, sports parks. Just they wanted to get to know me. They wanted to hit the big things running, running home. And you probably can guess the rest. That fall, I made the best decision and became a brother of the Christopher Newport chapter of Delta Upsilon. So. Once I became a brother, I realized what they truly did to me when they treated me so well. It was simply through just being, being kind that 
being kind to people to that extent is just realizing that everyone has a story, and we don't know that story, but being just simply kind can help show who you are, and it will show who, what you represent in your values. Now, I want to take this time now to give, to pr provide you guys with a challenge, uh, call, a call to order, a call, call to action. So I know we all have recruitment coming up this next year. We're all going to try and get new brothers into our chapters. But I want you to remember this when you're recruiting them. First, hit the ground running hard with, uh, with them when you're getting to know them. Get the personal stuff first. Skip the small things like what's your favorite color. Ask them about their family, what they want to be when they grow up, inspirations, stuff like that. Because we have time to fill in the small stuff. But if we, if, we fill, if we get to know who they are as a person, as a man first, then we'll know who they are as a man and who they are as a fraternity man to join our illustrious brotherhood. And realizing that we recruit them in such a way that we are a facet of our own destiny. We can be an outlet for the next chapter president, your future little, or even the next president of, the entire, of all of DU. Realizing this, we have to remember that as a DU, we build better men. And then this next year, when we build better men, if we remember that we treat these guys as family from the start, they'll realize that DU is family and family is forever. Thank you very much.